Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Dead. Uh, since the last time you guys tuned in, uh, I've done a couple of things. And it was mostly uh, expanding the old farm. Um, I was able to get lucky enough to get a mending enchant. Uh, multiple, actually. But uh, Librarian is online for mending, so... Got that going for me. Still cow maxing. I want to build something in here. Uh, mostly to support um, like seeds and, and the stuff that comes out of the farms. Um, so I'll expand the animal farms down. And this will probably stay about where it is. Um... Yeah, because I'm, I'm fairly happy with the size of this, and it's producing enough for me. But I want to ask you guys for suggestions on buildings that would look good here. I'm thinking it's probably going to be um, more on the tall, skinny side. And maybe, like, uh, maybe kind of themed from, like, a some fantasy story that you know of um or something like that but if you have any suggestions let me know and if possible like if it's from something um maybe like give me the name of it or where it's from so i can like look up artwork of it check it out so i don't just make a basic tower i was gonna try to make like a silo or something like that but i want to stick with like the fantasy village kind of theme for it um, so I made this little road just for convenience that goes over to the village that's next to my base. Um, this is where I'm doing my enchanting business out of these days. Uh, so I had three, I think it was three leather workers and a Fletcher at this village by default, something like that. And, um... You know, I didn't really want to, like, quote-unquote, like, break the game for uh, enchanting. Or just mostly enchanting, but, like, professions doing the whole villager thing. But let me tell you why I did it. One, uh, I got absurdly lucky. And I broke the fletching. I'll show you guys. I broke the fletching box table thing over here and I put down a lectern and I legitimately got mending my first try it's in here this is my anxiety reducer as I've named it so got this boss in here um, I'm gonna build up around this so it doesn't get uh, blowied for some reason <laughs> but I didn't have the materials to lock in the enchant so I came back like a day later with enough emeralds and stuff because I didn't have enough emeralds so I had to get them which I used the farmers to trade with and by the time I got back the enchant had changed so I did cheese it I did keep replacing the lectern and stuff like that but um I believe this guy has I don't think any of these are worth it so, um, I did do that and I have this guy locked in for wheat trade, which seems like it's pretty easy. Um, and then I have this guy for the sticks. So I've got easy emerald trading. I've got a lot of emeralds now. Um, mostly you'll see at the end of the video. So, um, there is a, I'm going to put a segment of me doing the trial that killed me on, I think, like, my second or third video. Um, so if you're interested in watching that, stick around for the end of the video or just skip there. Um, there's no commentary. It doesn't take that long. Um, again, I didn't, I didn't look anything up about the trial, but I've gathered some information from you guys about how they work. And it took me a minute to figure out what the keys were for. Uh, 
because <laughs> I'm like, oh, the spawners, once they deplete, they, they pop a key out of the top or sometimes they would just like push food out. It seemed like those were the two things that I kept getting. Um, but I didn't realize that the little boxes uh, that looked like they had items in actually had items. Shocker. Um, so I finally figured that out, just bumbled around and I ended up getting a lot of stuff like the, the clay pots. I got like armor trims out of and a diamond block and an emerald block and some random diamonds. And, um, and then I killed like the, I don't know what they're called. They're like little wind elemental things. There was two rooms that spawned those. Um, and ended up getting, I guess it's materials for a mace. Which, it doesn't look like that fun of a weapon, I'll be honest. So I have six keys left over. I got a lot of keys. Um, I got these trims, bolt armor trim. I don't, I don't even know what the trim is. I think, from what I understand, it's just cosmetic things. Like, you can make a set of armor with a specific trim on. So you look unique which is cool um i ended up getting two mending enchant books within the trial which you'll see but i also have a couple here um emerald block that i got i got some of this cool terracotta stuff that i was able to bring out with me i salvaged most of the loot um block of diamond so now i have full diamond tools and armor um some of it has like some enchants on i haven't enchanted my boots yet uh, so we're making progress we're making progress you know um here's the wind charge and the breeze rods that i got uh i assume that there's a couple different chests in there that you need to do the hard mode for to open up i assume they drop different keys so maybe i'll do that on the next one that i find but overall uh we're looking pretty good and we're making some progress oh i got these as well these pottery shards or i should say shirred <laughs> whatever okay that's weird um i just assumed it was shard but whatevs um still haven't used my golden enchanted apple or enchanted golden apple i should say and i also got a trident um so there's that. Um, what else? What else did I do? What else did I do? There was just something. There was something. Either way, we're going to go back into the cave that I was exploring in the previous video. And there's, there's a direction that I did not explore in so i just want to go comb through that and i'm thinking that i'm pretty much ready to go to the nether i don't really know what my next step is going to be um but i think i'm going to chill out for a little bit and do some builds uh if you're in the discord uh you probably heard me talking about wanting to uh make my own lush cave so i'm gonna gather resources and and all that good stuff and i want to make like a cave base and i think what i'm gonna do whenever i start branching out from this territory to find new stuff i think i'll just pick a direction and start laying down uh rail tracks so i always have like a convenient network and it'll be slower at the start, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. I think it'll be super nice to like, honestly, I think I'm kind of scarred from the last time I just got sent out into the ether um, with like legitimately no help, like 8,000 blocks away. It was just a killer for my like my motivation to do anything in the game and all this so um 
yeah, I think I just want to make sure that I've always got reliable transportation and resources available. So I do have the direction that I wanted to go was down this way, but there's also this little nook to explore and hello. Um, so I have, I don't, I still, I don't have, uh, like the most crazy enchants. I just have like stuff to get going because I figure, um, I have like mending on the important stuff and I'm going to put mending on my armor. Um, so I figured like I have all the time in the world to get like the perfect armor that I want or, you know, whatever. But, like, on the subject of enchanting, uh, I didn't finish my thought earlier about why I cheesed the librarian. Because I was, I'll admit, I was, like, against that. I thought, I thought that was pretty silly. Until I realized how absolutely stupid the enchanting system is in this game. Like, the fact that you can't. The fact that you cannot provide materials and infinitely repair an item is mind-blowing to me. Because from an outside perspective, looking in, um, the instant that I learned that there was an anvil in the game, my brain immediately said, oh, that's really cool. Like, as long as you have experience... You can probably trade, like, experience plus, like, whatever material it is. Um, like, say it's an iron a piece of armor you, like, put iron in and it takes, like, a couple levels of experience and you can repair your chest or something like that. I just assumed that that's the way it worked. But little did I know that there's, like, a lifespan on repairing your items or enchanting your items because of this like hidden compounding cost and I have no idea why that's a thing like that is yikes um like A it's not fun B it doesn't make sense at all like, um, if they didn't want you to keep a piece of gear, like if they want you to, if they want you to be like, Hey, um, I know our enchanting system is random. So like, it's, it's cool whenever you finally get something that's like super badass. Um, but it's, it's like finite. So like maybe don't use it in all situations or, um, enjoy it while it lasts kind of thing I would be fine with but instead they have mending which just forces you to use mending on every single piece of equipment that you want to keep which takes A. it takes an enchanting slot and B. it cuts into this hidden cost of crafting slash enchanting and it's like contradicting philosophies on how you want to balance your game. And I'm not even talking about like, oh, you can't make an overpowered weapon. It's, it's trivialized game content. Like, I, I don't care about that. Like it's um, <laughs> not, not in this game. I don't care about that. Like at all. Um, but it's like, it's a different philosophy on how you want your players to look at the game. Because there's nothing else in the game that works like that. There's nothing that feels that limiting. If that makes any sense. So like, I don't know. I, I just would want to know what their reasoning is behind it. Because it is anti-fun. And... <laughs> <laughs> like I love the idea of enchanting your armor 
I really do. I've I like that in all games. Like um big fan of that in MMOs. Like I remember the first day I enchanted one of my weapons in World of Warcraft back in back in 2005. I was a, I was a young lad. Uh it, the enchant that I got didn't even make sense. I had an emberstone staff from the Wailing Caverns on my... I don't know. I was probably like level 26, 27. No mage. And I got beast slang on it. Let me tell you why that was a bad idea. Uh, a, that enchant only worked for melee hits. And as a mage, you don't melee things with your staff. That's how you die. <laughs> but you know why I got it? It made my staff glow orange. And that was badass. So I got it. And it was like the only enchant that I could afford. So I see other people with enchants on their weapons and I'm just like, I want to fit in. I want to be a cool guy. Um, But yeah, I always loved that idea. Um, the only thing is in other games, you use an enchant as kind of like a build enhancer. So, you know, for instance, if you're playing, I'm God, I'm going to use WoW a lot in this example. So bear with me if you've never played it, um, especially old WoW, but let's say, uh, let's say you're a tank for a guild. Um, depending on your gear, you might want to use Crusader, um, because that's going to give you uh, an attack power bonus, like it's a proc. So, occasionally, you'll end up doing significantly more damage. Um, it's not, it's consistent, it consistently procs, but you do not have the effect all the time. Um, but you might encounter a time where... You don't need damage. So let's say like your content is on farm, like your, your guild is doing well. You've already ran the content a couple of times. That might be a situation where you run crusader because you're not really afraid of dying. Um, and you're just helping out damage, but let's say a new patch releases and there's, uh, a new, uh, a new raid and apologies. Where was I at? Uh, so yeah, like, let's say there's a new piece of content and, uh, you being the tank, your job is to not die. Uh, so your responsibility is to, <laughs> your responsibility is to take less damage. So you might actually get like an agility enchant, um, just for like added dodge and armor. Um, even though it's a lot smaller of a bonus than say the DPS bonus that you get from Crusader. Um, so that's like one example. Uh, so you use it as a tool to complement your build or what you want to do. This game, you don't really, I understand that they tried to do that. Um, but it didn't work. So what I mean by that is, and if I'm wrong, like correct me, but, um, from my, my little bit of knowledge, I feel like it's, I've got a, de uh, <laughs> a de 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 decent understanding. Um, so there are different, let's say defensive enchants. So there's, there's like, uh, just basic, what is it? Protection. Um, there's like projectile protection there's um and i believe there's like an explosive protection right um the problem is basic protection is better because you have less um you can stack the enchants and some of them are mutually exclusive which everyone knows um so you can only pick one um, but the bonus that the, let's say the generic one provides just regular protection is good enough 
And the other ones, the specialized protections, are not powerful enough to warrant having multiple pieces of armor while going through the pain in the ass that is the enchanting. Um, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure there's tons of players out there that just have... Whether it's time invested or just the crazy amount of resources that, yeah, like people have multiple armor sets and stuff for special occasions. But I would say in a general case, you can do it, but it's not worth it. Like the difference is like a, a 5% performance. Like if that makes any sense. Um, but really all this comes back to like the fact that you do have multiple enchants, the fact that you're like, it almost feels like they want you to craft this ultimate weapon, but then they don't want you to keep it. But they do because they have mending. So what they're doing is just forcing your hand. Um, so between like the mutually exclusive stuff, which I get it, um, because you could just be like, I want to be like, let's, Let's say, for instance, that you want to just be like a, you play with your friends multiplayer and you want to be an unstoppable juggernaut for your friends. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you, if you had all of the defensive enchants taking up the slots on your gear and you were just the one that ran in first and like got a, everyone's attention when you're like, you know, let's say doing a trial or, um, yeah, I don't really know. Like, you're just out exploring with your buddies. Uh, but, like, why don't they want you to do that? I don't, I don't understand that part. So it feels like... It almost feels like um, the enchanting system was just created by someone else. <laughs> like, like, they outsourced it. <laughs> I don't know. It feels kind of weird. Like, it's Minecraft. Um, no need to be super serious about the balance of it. And it may sound like I'm nitpicking the balance of it. But I'm nitpicking it from a... Does this make sense? Or a fun balancing? Because I feel like that's more beneficial to the game than... Uh, I don't know, like, does anyone care about, like, PvP balance? Or how hard is this mob to kill versus that mob? Like, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> I mean, all of the... Once you get iron, like, all of the normal, like, the base mobs in the game are just trivial. Um... Which, depending on who you talk to, could be a problem as well. But I don't think Minecraft is a combat-focused game. Which also leads me to question why they didn't add more crafting-centric enchants to things. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, they could have added... A whole bunch of enchants that improved the quality of life for people that just like uh, crafting stuff. Um, you know, super basic, but like there could be even like social enchants. Um, for instance, like maybe you have like like bartering or something on your armor and it could like if you're wearing a full set of that armor it could like give you a bonus when you're interacting with villagers something stupid like that like they could have just had fun with it but this was a gigantic rant that started with just saying the enchanting system sucks and i don't blame people for exploiting it and i'm standing by that because what is that noise? Oh, 
Oh, are those drowned zombies? Are they in here? Are they chillaxing up in here? Hello? <laughs> Why isn't the water coming in? There it is. Oh yeah, there he is. Hey, sweet pea. <laughs> How did he get in here? Is this open? Oh, look at this. Look at this. I will say respiration is good. That's one of those things. It's like clearly intended to improve the quality of life while exploring. Um, Good enchant, I think. Good enchant. Absolutely not for everyone. Like, you don't have to have it, but it's nice to have. Um, because there's so few enchants in the game, it's like, you may as well have it. I, I don't know. The whole thing seems half-baked, and I'm sure everyone has that opinion. But, uh, I just felt like venting about it, you know? And really, I'm just collecting resources, so I needed something to talk about. <laughs> Look at this. Dense. Is there anything behind? Heck yeah. I, I still can't get through. Hello? Mm hmm. 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 So, if they were to redo enchanting, what would be, you know, I'm sure everyone has their own suggestions. What is something that you would like to see them do? Um, for one, I, well, so here's the thing. I was going to say, maybe only allow one enchant per item. Um, I think they should get rid of mending, but I also think that they should just make the anvil work like everyone expects it to work. Um, like, hey, I have this diamond pickaxe and I love it. It's great. I've used it since Nam, and I want to keep using it. Let me put it on the anvil and spend experience and make it 100% durability again. Who is that hurting? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's what mending does, except you don't have to grind for it. <sighs> I don't know. It feels icky. But I think... They should include more enchants in the game. Maybe ones that are more fun. Like, why isn't there a move speed enchant? Just a base move speed. Um, or one that makes uh, sprinting not, not take as much hunger. Or, like, cool stuff like that. Like, you can actually make, like... Uh, different sets of armor that makes sense and in the process it's not super expensive to the point where like it's a pain so you might actually have fun doing it <laughs> i don't know i'm just spitballing but it just seems like it would be so easy to make more fun and they're just not doing it Like, I know they they keep adding more stuff to the game, but I think they just need to take, like, six months and go comb over the stuff that's already in the game and just make it better. I feel like that would be a great use of their time. And I say that with peace and love because I'm still having fun with the game. And uh, despite my reluctance to play a modern version of the game i think it's still a net positive that like all the changes that were made to the game um i like i said i greatly enjoy 
enchanting in theory and now that i have mending like i don't know i just don't care like the fact that i can just go trade for it it's cool and i can make like a decent weapon or a decent pickaxe and just keep it it just makes the game more enjoyable um but it shouldn't you shouldn't have to like check boxes in order to reduce your anxiety <laughs> i don't know it's weird uh but yeah like if they were to redo enchanting what would be your number one change that you would like to see um for me also i would like different enchants to have different looks and i'm not even saying anything crazy like uh going back to to the original wow because the game has the game has changed dramatically and they've they've added so much they've gotten like really crazy with stuff um but like the original enchants were legitimately just like oh this one makes your weapon glow orange or this one makes your weapon glow blue like that's that's what i'm talking about whoop i engaged too many enemies at once look at this jerk oh I didn't block any of that damage. <laughs> what was I talking about? Um, enchanting. Yeah, like, um, wouldn't it be cool if, like, let's say, what do I have? Smite, sweeping edge, looting, unbreaking, mending. It's not a bad sword. I just don't have, like, the higher levels of it. Because, again, to get the higher levels of it, you just need to grind it's kind of weird it's kind of weird i mean i get that the game is like a lot of grinding but um the way you do it is very unfun the fact that you're just like hey let me put a uh, a book in here and just you're basically just tanking the enchant just to throw it away um so i don't know there should just be like a defer option or how about this just make it cost reagents and not rng like make like if you want uh like sweeping on your weapon it's like um you know what makes sense probably iron you know maybe it's like 32 iron and five levels of experience and you're just guaranteed to get that, you know, but there's only one, there's only one level of it. And it's just, this is sweeping, not sweeping one, two, three, four, five. Um, I am just ranting. I am losing track of where I am in the game and in my head. Yikes. Well, I just went in a big, dumb circle. I went nowhere. Um, but yeah, like... Like, I don't think I ever finished the thought of... Let's say, like, sweeping. Instead of it being, like, this purplish-blue glow, it'd be, like... Like, silverish. Or, like... If you put uh, looting on it, it's, like... It's like green or, you know, I, I don't know. That way it's kind of cool because then if you play in, in multiplayer, one of the things that I really enjoyed about MMOs back in the day is there were no ways to change the visual appearance of your character besides equipping items. And it was cool because you could get an idea of what that player has been through and what that player likes to do at a glance. And I think that's badass. And I'm out of torches. God damn it. <laughs> uh, hmm. I have zero wood on me. Damn.
Hmm. This was going so well, too. How did I go through, what, a stack and a half or two stacks? Am I a madman with my torch placement? Look, at there's diamonds here. Boop. Let's just go ahead and get this. Just real quick. Get some loot skis. Might be time to head out of here anyways. Hmm. I might just have to finish this rant some other time. Anything down here? Hmm. Maybe. Across the pool of lava. Oh, we'll find out real fast. Mm. Nothing that I can see. It's very dark. Very dark. Alright, let's roll out of here. I'm likely going to get lost. So I'm going to... Probably just going to talk to you guys again after I get out of here. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take me. I'd like to just find my way out instead of digging my way out. But we know that that's not always an option. Right? Wait, where'd that torch go? I didn't pick it up. So I should... Hmm. Hold up. I should be able to get out of here. By way of hopefully I was diligent on my torch placement on only doing the right side so I know I came down through here all right I'm not gonna get into this <laughs> I'll just talk to you guys whenever I get out of here <laughs> all right well that was fruitful I guess it was cathartic is what it was. <laughs> it was cathartic. I think I am decently equipped for the next challenge in the game, which is likely the nether. But let me know. Either way, I've got the materials to make my... Woo! To make my portal. Hello? Oh my god, I'm getting blurred. I'm getting out of here. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, if I should go to the nether next or if there's something else I should check off my list first. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.